<laughs> but uh, what about Aston Villa? Oh, well, I mean, look. I mean, fair play to him. John Duran again scores well, seven goals this season. He's got well, if 400 you're talking minutes. About he's aside, so we go from Arsenal looking okay, doing well, top four, not so convincing. Then you go the other side, you go, right, Villa, right, okay, convincing. They, he's got them playing in a way they, 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 they. they they beat Bologna tonight. I saw Bologna against Liverpool. Yeah, good. And Bologna gave Liverpool a game. Bologna caused them problems. There were one or two moments, hit the post. One or two moments, but you expect that in a 90-minute game. Villa tonight, what? It must be an absolute pleasure watching your team. If you're a Villa fan coming away from Villa Park, you go there every game thinking, I mean, not that, even at full at the weekend, we're going to win today. Not just not just might get a win. Not might get, we're going to win today. Yeah. That's what he's turned them into, mate. They are a machine right now. I know, now. they're a monster. They're a machine. I Do know. not underestimate Aston Villa. And if Arsenal, and we're talking about that top four race, or top three, right now, if you had to say to me, who's going to finish higher right now, Villa or Arsenal, I'm going Villa. I'm what? going Villa. Aston Villa above Arsenal? Right now, yes. They're top of the, they're top of the Champions League. I know, they're, but we're in the Premier League. I'm saying, right now, what I'm watching, right now, Yes. That's a big statement, I know, I, know, I, know. I mean, I know. I know. Arsenal's so, going for the title. Feel, feel a bit weird. Well, I thought they'd win the title, but if you had to say, right, I'm only saying right now after eight games, Villa, there's something happening at Villa, mate. There is. There's something mm. going on at Villa. Um, a, a talking point, though, that did come out of that game, John Duran, he scores, and then he gets taken off for Ollie Watkins. Didn't look happy. Mm. Now, you know, we've said this before. When a player's scoring goals week in, week out, and he's coming off the bench. Then he gets a start and scores. And then he gets taken off. He's getting yum. Like, you know, as a player, eventually you're going to be like, hold on a minute. You know, I'm banging in goals. The fans love me. They want him to play. Mm. He was fuming coming off. Do you think that's going to become a problem? I don't think so right now. But the problem that Duran has got is that that decision to bring Ollie Watkins on was made... Before he scored. Before he scored. So Ollie Watkins is on the touchline. He's stripped. He's ready to come on. What Unai Emery cannot do, he cannot then tell Ollie Watkins to go and sit down. He's made his decision. He's managing a squad through the Champions League and the Premier League. We saw last season Newcastle struggle somewhat to cope with both. He's been. This guy knows what it's like to 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 go in Europe and and manage squads and have games midweek yeah. Sunday, you know midweek Saturday. He's, he knows how to to navigate his way through that. And I think you've got to accept. I'm the manager. I make the decisions. Yeah, I know you scored your goal, but I'm making this call now, mm. and I'm bringing Ollie Watkins on. You can't you can't argue with that. Ollie well, Watkins well, can. We, well, you, but you, As a player, well, eventually well, you're going to go. If I'm not right, playing, I'm right, off. Right. Well, well, okay, fine. Right, fine. But he, it's not like Ollie Watkins ain't scoring. No, of course. Ollie Watkins was on the back of a brilliant season last year. Go to the Euro, scoring goals for England. He's the closest thing to Harry Kane. D John Duran, right? Yeah, I get his frustration. I don't know whether he wants to be punching seats. You know, throw, sh you know. Throwing, showing his frustration the way that he did so publicly. Because mm. you know, Emery will say to him, listen to you, right? I'm managing this team, and I'm right now, I'm doing a bloody good job. So you just make sure you turn up when I want you to turn up. Ollie Watkins will come on when I say, and you'll come on when I say. You can't be doing that, mate. You can't be punching and kicking seats. Mm, it's a little happen. bit public. For, I wonder whether he's... I don't know. There's, I know he's a big dog because he's scoring so many goals right now, but he's still a little puppy. He's, he's a big dog. No, he is, mate. He's not a little puppy. He's still a little puppy. He's not. He is. You know, he's like Scrappy-Doo. Remember Scrappy-Doo? No, Scrappy-Doo. Right, Scrappy-Doo used to come off, right? And he was Scooby-Doo's little ne nephew, right? He thought he was the big dog. Right. And he worked every now and then to get a little slap. <laughs> he did. Scrappy-Doo? Scrappy-Doo, mate, yeah. So you're calling John Duran Scrappy-Doo? I'm calling John... But he thinks he's tough and hard. He's probably got a little bite on him. But right now, you can't be throwing... You can't be doing that on the touchline, mate. Scrappy-Doo. Who and I am real say to him, no, you, Scrappy, sit down. <laughs> Anyone remember Scrappy Doo? Remember Scrappy Doo? I don't know who Scrappy Doo is. We'll get, we'll get, we'll get a little rhyme from Scrappy Doo. All right, let's go to Reg. He's a Villa fan. All right, Reg. All right, Reg. What? All right, lads. All right, How Reg? are you, Reg? Had moon rules. Hey? As Scrappy Doo had moon rules. He did had minerals. Yeah, did. Do you remember yeah. Scrappy Doo? Of course, I do remember Scrappy Doo. <laughs> he Scrappy had Doo syndrome. He had moon rules, and he was at it all the time. Yeah. And he always had to drag him back. Absolute legend. Yeah. So, so, so it's a good analogy then. 
Oh, fantastic. fantastic. <laughs> I mean, look, obviously it's a great result tonight. You know, v- Villa flying high. John Duran oh, scoring. It, it, I mean, look, it's great to have. It's a, it's a, it's a brilliant problem. But you just got to keep him happy. Yeah, it, 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 it was frustrating because he just scored. He just scored, do you know what I mean? And it, and obviously, he's had two games in the Champions League. He's probably played 90 minutes and he scored two goals. And he's got two strikers to keep happy, which ain't a bad problem, do you know what I mean? I spoke to you about three weeks ago mm-hmm. about the difference between Villa and the other teams, about how good our squad is. Mm-hmm. And he's going now, like... I mean, John Duran is such a, a lovely problem to have. And I think, you know, Emery, he's, 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 he's going to have it all sorted. You, you know what's unbelievable, right? Aston yeah. Villa, like, you yeah. turn, you rock up at Fulham the other day. Fulham have been playing really well. Win 3-1. Turn up tonight. 1-0 down, you. by the way. Yeah, 1-0 down. You know, turn up tonight, 2-0. Thanks for coming. It's like, every week, Villa just win. Yeah, you know, it's like it's becoming normal. Just, just see Aston Villa. Just expect to win. Yeah, getting results. It's, they should have beaten Arsenal, by the way. Yeah, I was just about to say. Ollie Watkins. Ollie Watkins. Yeah, he didn't have his boots on that day. Uh, yeah, it's more been unbelievable. Absolutely bust Arsenal that day. Yeah. <sighs> you know I mean? like, up the Villa. And I reckon we can go up all the way in this competition. I don't think we'll win it, but I think we can get to What's a... all the way then? Yeah. Reg, all the way means he's winning it. I reckon we can get to the final or the semis. I'd say all the way, I'm sorry. Right. But I think we can go far in the competition. Yeah. I mean, if, if you get to the quarterfinals, right, let me tell you now, yeah. that is a remarkable achievement for Villa. Yeah. Right? I'm not oh. saying they can't go past because you need a luck well, of the draw. there. Nine points. <laughs> Then, that's it. Well, once you get to there, it's the points, isn't it? Mm. But I think we can get to round about there and top four. Right. Yeah, fair mm. play, to I mean, brilliant to watch at the moment. Really good side. Red, thanks for your call. Uh, let's go to David. He's an Arsenal fan, right, Dave? Right, Dave. You all right? Yeah, not too bad, boys. You all right? I'm all right, Dave. How are you? Yeah, well, I'm miserable, to be honest. Oh, <laughs> go on. What's up? Oh, man, this manager, I don't get it. Honestly, I don't get the Arteta... Uh, Hype, the fanboys, I just don't get any of it. Really? Honestly. No, man, I think it's terrible. We won Ever tonight. Since COVID. Yeah, but it wasn't enjoyable, was it? You know, when I didn't build the Emirates with his bare hands for that kind of football, four centre-backs, oh, man, it's horrible. It's horrible. Do you know what he is? He has gone. There is definitely a shift in the way that he... And I, I'm not saying I'm, I'm against it because there's two parts of football, one with the ball, one without it. Um, I think what he has done better recently in the last couple of seasons, and particularly last year and going into this season, he understands that, don't concede, we've got, not, we, we've got players that can score goals. But I wonder whether he's gone a little bit too far in terms of trying to manage the game that way. It's, I don't know whether you know, our best player, and sorry to cut you off, but, you know, it's, our best player is Wenery at the moment. It's got to be. The guy's electric. You know, you the kid a game. You know, you bring him on. 2-0 mm. down, 80th minute. But do you not think, Congo. though, sorry, do you not think Odegaard missing, he, he's had to, he's re- really had to change rethink about what Arsenal look like? Do you not think that yeah, there's been an element of that? I, I think I that's... Mean, <clears> even <throat> if, I don't know, like, even when Odegaard plays, it's still, I mean, Atlanta, do you remember that Atlanta? Yeah. Oh, small. You know, I almost called in that night. You know, who well, like? Fell asleep. <laughs> 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 right, I was sitting there like, oh man, because it's you know I've grown up on champagne football. You know, like I've you know, I was born in 1990, so you know I've known Wenger. I've basically I've only known Wenger. Mm-hmm. You know, and even in his darkest days, Wenger. You know, you still had Rizitsky, You still had Kazula. You still had a little bit of Avavum. There's no va va anywhere on the pitch. There's no va is there? Yeah. va va <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> so gone. We've got, we got Declan Rice, Mikel Marino. Mikel Marino? He's yeah. not even it's, the best it, midfielder. I know, I know what he that. means. It's quite workmanlike, isn't it? But, but, it's, but George, it's, it's George yeah. Graham. <laughs> yeah, it is George Graham. Wait, George Graham won a league title. Right. He did win a league title. Don't knock George Graham. It's a bit boring, time. boring yeah, isn't it, Dave? He won a league title. It is a bit and boring. Boring. <laughs> boring. It is boring, man. Boring. North London forever, man. Oh, it's horrible. It's just, 
Yeah, you know, like even Havertz, you know, Ian Wright, at least Ian Wright was electric. Havertz, come on, he's a lamppost, isn't he? No, he's a he's a, lamp post. Post. <laughs> so, no, a bit harsh. <laughs> call uh, he's a lap post. With a goal, but yeah, he doesn't beat a man, does he? He doesn't, you know, oh, have it. No, no, you, you know, you're that type him. of player. I mean, the, 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 I think, again, you've got to remember, Saka's that. Saka's your... Your Vavavum. Now, he's, 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 he's the Vavavum, isn't he, Saka? You can't say Vavavum like it from a Londoner. You've got to say it like Vavavum. Yeah, you've got to say it free. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, so it now, Odegaard is obviously your Vavavum. He up, is. Honestly. Martinelli, but, um, but you are you are he's looking like a... killed Martinelli's career. Say again? He, I said he's killed Martinelli. Watch, uh, when Martinelli first joined, he joined under Unai Emery. Mm. The guy couldn't stop scoring goals when he first joined. I thought we had a Ronaldo regen at the start. He was scoring yeah, headers. Everyone wanted him, yeah. He stuck out on the left wing, 24-7. Mm. So, you know, he's got all these goals are in the box. Mm. He's D- on the left wing. He's Dave, um, Mikel Arteta has said as well after the game that it's unlikely that Saka will be fit for the Liverpool game and oh, Calafiori God. injury is a bit of a worry. <laughs> not looking it's, good it's going to make for painful viewing mm. that's, uh, that's all I can say no sustaining pressure mm. yeah right. great Dave top man mate appreciate your call right. no va va voom there's no there's no va va voom there's nothing it's just the French for va va voom there's not is there it's not there's, not, there's nothing there nothing no there. Odegaard no Saka yeah, they're, t- they're the two players that get you off your no, seat no but good, you know what they? like Arteta's it's easy to dig him out because right now they're not they're, they're getting wins like they've won tonight clean sheet mm. got it done over the line mm-hmm. he has had to adapt to the <laughs> fact that he's lost Odegaard and Saka mm, he's had to adapt well that that's, so, that strength in is depth there, is that, they don't you know, have is there a little bit of credit in well, that well uh, when we when when yeah. Odegaard first picked up the injury and I think I'm pretty right pretty sure I might say it was international duty right it's international yeah. duty yes right we sat here and spoke who is going to... It looked like it was a nasty one. We said it was about who is going to play that 10? Who is going to do that role? Mm. People saying Havertz can play in there. Maybe then you can go um, Jesus a little a little bit higher. Maybe Trossard can play up there. And there has been games that Trossard has. Yeah. You know, they, we, we've, seen, we've, we've seen plenty of evidence of that. He struggled to find that right formula and now Saka's gone. Mm. You saw on Sunday, mate. Sorry, Saturday against Bournemouth. No, I know. They, they are... They, They're a different they, team. They look a bit... Dull. They look dull, don't they? Yeah, they do. Bournemouth actually deserved to win at the weekend. Yeah, I know they went yeah, down ten Arsenal men, terrible. but even before that, they were a little. I mean, against Liverpool, Liverpool are they're a little bit like that themselves. But they've got Salah up top. Mm. You know, they got they got they've got they got a little bit more going yeah. forward right now. Yeah, Arsenal. Diaz. Yeah. The Sports Bar with Jamie O'Hara and Jason Cundy, Monday to Thursday nights from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.